What's up, IHS? I'm your host, JT Stone. And I'm Emerson Scriver. This week, we'll talk about the new upgrades to the Ithaca Tompkins Airport, the 77th Golden Globes, the sale of new local apartments, the sale of two local apartment buildings, and IHS New Year resolutions. The newly renamed Tompkins International Airport opened on December 20th after $34.8 million renovations. The airport now includes a larger terminal with an addition of lights, boarding bridges, new passenger gates, contemporary amenities with charging stations, family-friendly areas, and increased security measures. The name change from regional to international comes after a 5,000 square foot customs facility for receiving international chartered or private flights. Before the addition of Customs and Border Protection, CBP, Flights coming in internationally required a layover at a hub airport with customs facilities before reaching the Ithaca Airport. The CBP caused some residents to be put in to do into Tompkins County and Ithaca's status as a haven for immigrants, but the issue raised by residents did not attract enough public resistance to stop the customs facility from moving forward, and the airport is expected to start receiving international flights this spring. The 77th Golden Globe Awards took place last Sunday, which featured emotional speeches, surprising winners, and savage jokes targeting some of Hollywood's biggest stars. The ceremony, honoring movies and TV, was ho hosted by comedian Ricky Gervais, whose opening monologue went viral for its controversial humor. One of his jokes was, so if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a platform to make a political speech. You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing of the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. Another highlight of the night was that Aquafina made her history for her performance in the movie The Farewell by becoming the first Asian American to win a Golden Globe in a leading actress film category. Tom Hanks and Ellen DeGeneres were also honored at the ceremony, with Hanks winning this year's Cecil B. DeMille Award for Achievement in Film and DeGeneres winning the second Ca Carol Burnett Award for Achievement in TV. DeGeneres was introduced by Saturday Night Live star Kate McKinnon, who opened up about being gay and how DeGeneres empowered her to pursue a career in television when, before, she said she didn't know if she had a right to be there. Lastly, the Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama went to Joaquin Phoenix for Joker, and the war film 1917 won Best Motion Picture Drama, Best Director, and Best Original Score. The lofts at Six Mile Creek, as well as Cayuga Place Apartments, which are two apartment buildings in downtown Ithaca, have sold to Maryland-based real estate investors Hopkins Holdings, the deal being registered with the Tompkins County Course on December 19th. The lots... <laughs> Just the lofts at Six Mile Creek sold for 9.5 million, and the Cayuga Place Apartments sold for 14.8. Both properties were previously owned by Bloomfield and Sean, which is based in Cincinnati. The purchaser intends to maintain and continue the same use as the current owner, a residential rental space. Currently, the Cayuga Place Apartment Building holds apartments on its upper floors, as well as the Green Street Pharmacy and Urban Outfitters on its ground floor. Over the break, we asked some of the students and faculty here at IHS about what their New Year's resolutions are. Let's check in and see what they said. My New Year's resolutions are exercising more, doing crafts such as painting and playing more music. I do it in high school in June on time. Just <laughs> do better than last year. Uh, I'm hoping to spend more time with my kids at home. Get a better routine because I always wake up late. Well, no, I always wake up early and I'm always the last one out. So just like getting routine to like fix that. Get ready for the Buffalo Marathon, which is in May. For myself personally, to work out more, get stronger, do some more reading instead of work all the time. And on the work side of things, to provide even better food choices for the children as a whole through the cafeteria. Uh, New Year's resolutions is to only have one New Year's resolution, and that is to uh, treat everybody better. Those are some pretty good resolutions. Let's hope they can do it. Uh, Emerson, I'm, I am really glad to see that people have so many New Year's resolutions. Yeah, but most re resolutions actually end before February, yeah. so I don't think that they'll keep all of them. Well, I have faith for us here at IHS. I do. Hopefully. <laughs> well, that's all for our show this week, IHS. We'll see you next week. You know today, I just
woke up and I like said, this. No, instead of waiting on a good day, waiting around through ups and downs, waiting on something to happen, I just said, 